In a certain class, one student is to be selected at random to read. What is the probability that a boy will read? Well, statement number one tells us that two thirds of the students are boys. And so if we pick a student at random, that means we have a probability of two thirds of picking a boy, which means there'd be a probability of two thirds that a boy would read. And so statement number one allows us to give an exact answer to the question. So statement number one is sufficient. Now forget statement number one, let's treat statement number two by itself. We're told only that 10 students are girls. We have no idea how big the class is. There could be 10 girls and two boys. There could be 10 girls and 150 boys. We have no idea. And so not knowing that, we have no idea what's the probability of picking a boy. So statement number two by itself is insufficient. Well, when one is sufficient and two is insufficient, that is an answer of A.